Hey everybody, it's Lorena here. I know today there are some big changes um, in Facebook and the way that we use StreamYard. So I wanted to show you guys how you can use StreamYard um, to go live inside of groups. Now, y'all, it is not hard at all. It just takes a little bit of, we're just gonna have to reprogram our brains, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm using Zoom to record this for you all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen share. And um, we are actually, first of all, going to head over to Facebook. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you are in your personal Facebook um, profile. And I want you to go inside, just go inside of one of your groups. And you're going to click here as if you're going to go live. And you're going to go here and you're going to click um, live video. Okay. And this here is going to pop up a Facebook window, right? We're just going to click right here. Um, under the go live button, go ahead and click go live. All right. And now we are going to be using streaming software, obviously with StreamYard. So we're going to go over to StreamYard. We're going to go into destinations, add destination, custom RTMP. You're going to name it Facebook groups. It doesn't matter. You only need one custom thing. You're gonna go over here back into your live producer. I want you to click advanced settings. I want you to turn on your persistent stream key. This is naturally gonna be grayed out. You're gonna turn that on. You're gonna hit copy your stream key right here. Um, let's go into copy, go right here. And then you're gonna put your stream key. You're gonna paste that in. You're gonna go into your URL and you hit copy down here to the URL. You're gonna post this in. And you're going to go right here and you're going to go ahead and click add and create. Okay. That part is done. Now, what I want you to do is we are going to do a test live so you guys can see how this works. We're going to go ahead and hit create live stream. And here's the Facebook group one that we just made. And we're just going to go test, test, create live stream. Now, here's what I would suggest you guys do. I would suggest that you guys have a, a cover page. Um, that you guys have a cover page loaded up. Uh, they're also called um, these covers right here. So let's just throw one of these covers up here. I would suggest going and making you a banner that says live stream will begin shortly. Leave that screen up, okay? You're gonna go ahead and um, you're gonna go ahead and you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just click go live, all right? Now, when you click this go live, you are actually not going to be live on Facebook yet. You are live here, but you are not live on Facebook yet. So we're going to go over here into Facebook and look right here. It says connecting live video. So you want to stay in this window. You only have to hook up the stream key one time. It's always going to be here. If you don't see it connecting just yet, you can hit the refresh button. There's my live video right here. And we can we can click the go live button now. We can click go live. And it says live video is starting, okay? Now we're gonna switch back over to StreamYard. And what you can do is you can go, um, I'll just kind of show you guys right now. I'm gonna go into the group itself. And it says right here that I am indeed live. Let me do a stop screen share. Well, I'm going to pop up. Let me just pop up what I would normally do. I'm going to pop up um, a video here, this right there, my normal videos that I love to do. And um, you can see here, um, we're going to do stop share. And there I am live right now. And I can work everything sh through Streamer and pop up my, my share screens, my videos, um, which is really great for like teaching courses and whatnot. You guys, super easy peasy. Now, when you go to end the live, you can click in StreamYard and live and it would. The great thing is about it, the StreamYard is going to keep a copy of it and you will have the, the copy of the live video like you're used to having. If you're used to using StreamYard, you will have that. Um, you'll have the live inside of the group. Fabulous, right? For those of us teaching master classes soon, this girl right here. Um, so it's a thing. The only caveat is that you're not going to be able to see the comments inside a streamer. For me, that's not a big deal because I always have my iPad like right here. And um, my iPad, I always have a comment stream live um, right there anyways, because that way I can see the names because it's like, you know, like 
Facebook user number, whatever. I hate that. So I always have a live, um, my live feed up anyways. So for those of you who are average streamer users like me and are like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Now, I am pretty sure the same process for Zoom as well. If you want to do that um, in Zoom, I actually don't use Zoom uh, to stream live in groups very often. Uh, most of the time, if I'm doing the Zoom, they're joining me inside the Zoom room. I'm recording it. So um, anyways, you guys, just remember, you can still go live directly from um, StreamYard into your Facebook pages. Um, you can still go live and do all the things inside of YouTube as well. There's a lot of different options, um, not just for Facebook, for YouTube, but um, StreamYard is really like kicking its game up on the live streaming. So I'm super happy, even though, um, you know, there was a lot of um, changes coming our way. I'm super happy with how this is panning out. I hope this helps you guys.